So this is the original log home. It was built in 1890. You're not just buying a, a house with this property. What what can you buy if you buy this property? So essentially, a lot of people looked at it like it's an entire village. That's right. Why buy just a house when you can buy your own village? The property on Highway 10 just north of Orangeville includes that 1890s log home, but also this church built in the 1880s and its accompanying parish hall. And what's a village without a town hall? This is the original one for Mono Township, built in the 1880s and moved to this site from nearby Camilla. You could call yourself mayor. You like you mayor of your own village. I don't know the legality on that, but uh, I think you'd go ahead and do it anyway, right? There's a lot of people with the tag mayor that aren't really mayors. <laughs> these were all taken right off the house. All these mortar joints were cleaned up, gone. The beams were uh, restored, put back in place, mortared just the way they would have done it back in 1890. They are huge. Oh, it's it, and it, when when you're inside the house, you can see it's you know probably a. Uh, an 18 inch log so that is essentially your insulation of the house on in some areas for sure this is a, the way the interior walls were made same thing um, these were taken apart uh, remortared uh, all the original beams from the original house you have your own church um, mostly all original inside and then the building to the right of it is the uh, the original parish hall so this this building was moved here didn't have any wiring any plumbing at back in the time this was the original uh, do entryway and then offices were on, one, were on either end of it. So they've added, added electricity to it um, since then, but it, it was moved here. It was the original town hall. You can see how small it was. Oh yes, some, some cramped uh, working quarters, eh? And relatively speaking, compared to some residential property prices across the country, for a whole village, this could be considered a bargain. Compared to uh, prices in Toronto, where you mm -hmm. might get a, a small house for the price here, here, here you get in the full village for how much? $1.6 million, you get yeah, what we would consider an entire village or the possibility of an entire village on nine plus acres with a pond. So you can kind of see the way it, it, it might have been back when, uh, when it was originally here with the, the dirt roads and you can imagine people coming in in on Sundays for their church service and, and gatherings in the parish hall. And while $1.6 million is still a lot of money compared to what you'll pay for some properties across the country, it might just be worth it to become mayor of your own village. In Mono, Audra Brown, City News.